Hello, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be my December book haul. December has been the craziest month because I think I got almost or about 30 books and about a half of them in one day. So yeah. This is the first video I'm filming with my ring light. You will probably see it reflecting in my glasses, but I will have to learn how to avoid that the best, but yeah, I hope the quality is better, but <laughs> we'll see when I edit, then I see m for myself what's going on, but yeah, let's get through the books I got in December, and let's start with Christmas gifts. I could call all the books I got in December Christmas gifts, but most of them were from me to me. So I'm gonna start with the ones that were gifted by other people but me. First I have Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. This is a sci-fi and this was a gift from Hillary for Melted Books and I'm excited to read. I have heard good things about it. It's a man who is on a spaceship and he wakes up and he's the only one alive I think and I think there was something with the first contact but yeah I'm excited to get to this one and the next book I got was Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson this was a gift kind of from a random person it was a gift from Sabi yes from Sabi it was from uh, Discord where we gifted each other some gifts and I get a gift from Sabi and I already have read this one but this is a story that is told by a Dracula's bride she tells a story from when they met and kind of until the end I really like the book but that's all I'm gonna mention from this one. And another gift from person I don't know. This was Andrea Vaz and I got the second book in the Raven Boys series. Don't have the first one but I was sent the second one and now I have a serious reason to get the first one and finally read the series. But yeah this is The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stewarter. I don't really remember what the series is about. I get a book from my sister and it was Diodison Chetri Labia Darbi or 24 Good Deeds maybe that would be the translation by Jenny Fagerland this is a Swedish author so it's a translation it looks wintry so I probably will keep it for next winter and hopefully will remember to read it then but yeah, it looks like a wintery Christmassy story, but I know nothing about it. The next book I'm gonna share is from my boyfriend's mother. She gifted me Mila Benya Minya by Lama Muktupavila. This is a biographical novel about a publisher a woman and she was like a notable person here. I will read it and hopefully I will enjoy it. And then uh, I was in this Latvian bookstagrammer gift exchange kind of secret Santa thing and I received Rigs Raganus or Witches of Riga by Lane de Nemir. I already have this book. I bought it myself because it's my favorite Latvian author. So I will be giving this to my sister because I don't need two copies. So. Yeva, this book is yours. <laughs> Next I have two books by Illumicrate, the November box and December's one. In November we got Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Beautiful cover. This was a retelling of the Goose Girl, yes. I don't know the story but I've heard of the story. But this book is just gorgeous and naked. You're not 
look how pretty the book is and then December book is also very pretty and it is a marvelous light by Freya Marske and it's gonna be really reflective but look and the dust cover is like a plasticky thing and the book is just gorgeous and the spread edge I can't this is so pretty I don't really know what this one is about but it has something to do with secret societies and magic so it sounds exciting in December my pre-order of 2 for Joy by Zoe Sag and Amy McCullough arrived and this is the second and the last in the Magpie Society it's a YA thriller I think haven't read the first one yet but I had to have the second one and I got the signed copy so, it's about two girls so it has two perspectives and they go to the school or this was a dark academia thriller or something like that I don't remember there was school and something oh I don't know my memory is so bad but I have the two books I will read them soon hopefully then finally the third book the hollow pox by Jessica Townsend third book in nevermore series came out in Latvian and I immediately ordered it and got it now I just need to read it this is a wonderful middle grade series I love the first two books and I need to read the second the second the third one I got the newest book by my friend Laura Vinogradova and this is Tetis own sons or father and dog this is a children's book of course you can see it's short and it has some illustrations but this is the newest one and I have all her books and I will have all her books so yeah something I just had to get and then I also got a diary by Zana Daudzinia she started writing the diary a little bit before COVID hit and this is that like during the COVID the first year and what it was how it was for her as an actress as a teacher and things like that so I'm interested in reading this one and last, the biggest pile like 16 books I think all are from the same publisher I went crazy on one day and I got all the books on one day I just want to collect all the books from that publisher and now I'm only missing seven but let's just get through all the 16 books first the books I have actually read and they are library at Mount Shar by ha Scott Hawkins I read it about a year ago in January 2021 and I liked it it was weird but I liked it and then I have the beautiful and the strange and beautiful sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton and yeah all the books will be in Latvian the translations so yeah I got this one I read this one years ago it was about a girl who had wings if I remember correctly or something like that and then the newest book by that publisher and I didn't mention the publisher it's Prometheus or Prometheus I think in English you would say but I got the newest one uh, there is, are stories by Howard Philip Lovecraft I haven't read anything by Lovecraft but this is just a story collection so I will definitely read it I like the cover like the gray looks so pretty but then I have Prince of Fools by Mark Lawrence this is the first book in a series and unfortunately only the first book has been published from what I know but yeah I got it I think it's a fantasy but only reason why I got this book is because I want to have all the books by the publisher <laughs> that's maybe a stupid reason but 
that's my reason. And then I got four sets of trilogies, so 12 books, but I'm gonna go like on the trilogies. First I have Milkweed Tip Trick. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that word, but let's see, Milkweed, yes. So I have Bitter Seeds, Coldest War, and Necessary Evil by Ian Tregillis. This was a tutorial fantasy kind of sci-fi thing. And that is all I can say about this. Then I have Elevator Saga, I think that's the series title, but there is Wool, Dust, and Shift by Hugh Hobby. And this is a sci-fi series. And as you know, I really like sci-fi, so I'm excited. And this and the first book in the previous series are the books that you can't buy anymore in stores and from the publisher because they're out of stock. And I managed to get them used from people, so I have them. <laughs> That made me so happy that I managed to get those two books. Then I got The Magician's Trilogy by Lev Grossman. I have The Magicians, The Magician King, and The Magician's Land. And this is a fantasy series, from what I know. And I think there was some kind of a magical school. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know, but I've been eyeing this series for quite some time and yeah, finally I have it. And I like the covers, I like the tree on this one, like the green kind of, this one is more white, but the green colors on the covers I enjoy and they have beautiful spines, really beautiful. And the last three books in this book haul and the last trilogy is the Red Rising trilogy. So I have Red Rising, Morning Star, that actually is the third book, and Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. This is a sci-fi series. Mars is involved and Rebellion, I think. I don't, I for some reason I really hate this cover, the cover for the first book. These two doesn't bother me that much, but the first one, for some reason, I find it super ugly. Don't ask me why, but I just don't like it. But yeah, I'm excited for all the books I got in December. I don't have where to put them because I have run out of space, but I think I mentioned that in every book haul I have. So yeah, but that's gonna be it for this video. Please let me know. Have you read any of these books, especially the series I've mentioned? And did you like them? If you don't know what to say, please give me a yellow heart emoji, because it's my favorite emoji. And yeah, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I see you in the next one. Bye!